Hello again, my friends and oh my lord, what is going on here? Anyways, listen, I promise I'll be a bit more fit for the next photo. Literally, figuratively, and everything early. Yeah, I don't know if you can just add L-Y to the end of words. But anyways, I just did. So, and what? Uh, anyways, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. So over the past couple of days, obviously, I've um, not been so on point with the diet, let's just say. So I've managed to get a little bit of a pudgy little motherfucker. Now listen, I understand me getting pudgy is a bit different to other people getting pudgy, but it's not great. It's not great. I mean, look, hold on a second there. Let me show you lot what we're working with, what we are working with. I mean, I mean, I don't know when I'm looking at me, it's, when I'm looking at me here, I mean, it's actually not too bad. But, I mean, compared to me being absolutely ripped, it's, uh, I mean, the legs are exactly the same, so you don't need to see that, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm like, okay, I'm like, oh, all right, look, you know, not bad, but, you know, I could be, I could be better, I could be much better. And uh, what's that forced me to want to embark on is a nice little cut because I actually have my surgery on Thursday. So I'm going to do a couple of days of just toning it down with the diet to get my body fat in a bit of a better state. So I'm going to run you through everything I do today in order to get there. That's it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually take down... A BBC, big black coffee. So, cheers. That'll be hmm. obviously I have to show me drinking it, otherwise it doesn't look real, does it? Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean it's all right. It's all right. Is is look? I mean it's 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 pudgy. It's pudgy. Like you know, we need to get back to fight. Imagine get back to fight. I actually felt good at fight shape. But yeah, so we're gonna start with the coffee. In about an hour or two, something like that, I'm gonna go downstairs and train, and then, uh, and I'll show you the workout there, and then that'll be my workout for the day, all done on a whoop strap. Check out if you lot don't know. I mean, listen, calorie counters, and I use it mainly for the sleep to see how I've recovered. But I mean, even then, it shows roughly what your calories are for the day, and it for what. For I know it's been accurate and uh, yeah I'll also run you through how to sort of lose your weight and be in a what's called a caloric deficit which I know everyone on YouTube's done anyways um, but yeah that's pretty much it and I'll show you what I'm eating in the day and then you lot will see what it takes to get ripped ripped mate I wish that black eye would go away so I can look fit again and I wish I wasn't like pudgy and soft and f I feel fluffy, I feel fluffy. Anyways, in a bit peeps. All right, back to the uh, compound we go. Um, so I had about two slash three slash I lie, could have been nine, feels like nine coffees, oh my Lord. Like I'm buzzing, but in a good way, in a good way. Don't know what my keys are. Huh, now I do. It's just the caffeine talking to me. Caffeine has taken over. Um, a little bit dark. What's this? All this dark stuff going on. Anyways, so heading into the gym. Uh, I have eaten nothing. I've eaten nothing today. Absolutely. Fuck all. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be swearing. Sorry, mum. Anyways, that thing is loud, but it's okay, we can ignore it. We can ignore it. Um, so, obviously I've been eating like an absolute, got a bow when you get in, the, get, in the, get in the ring. So obviously, I've been eating like an absolutely horrendous human being. I've probably eaten about a gazillion calories in total um, over the past week. So yeah, it's been a week since the fight. I've, uh, I ate a load of American stuff, I ate a lot of English stuff, I ate a lot of brownies. Because obviously, clearly I was craving it in my last video, but um, yeah, so essentially, 
I haven't actually put on that much like fat. I mean, if you look at the video in the morning, I actually look pretty muscular. Obviously, good lighting as well, but I think I just I'm holding a lot of water, so that's why I'm wearing a jumper, even though I'm freaking sweating my balls off at the minute. Um, so as to lose a bit more water, just to look a little bit better, do you know, and feel a little bit better because I feel absolutely rubbish. Eating like crap for a week and not moving at all feels horrible. So move, move. But I think my, what's called my basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of calories that you burn when you're not doing nothing is quite high. Uh, just because of all that muscle, yeah, you can't even see the muscle. But yeah, I think that's literally what's been saving me. Um, it's just <laughs> how much uh, how much muscle I have so uh, that's why I've sort of ate a lot and yeah not a lot I didn't really put on too much fat my face got a little bit wider but it's okay so I'm actually not doing too bad but yeah I haven't eaten anything at all today it is now hold on let me check the time for you let me check the time for you it is 1 30 1 30 1 38 technically well, actually, you can see on the time there, 1.40 even. Uh, I haven't even, I haven't eaten anything because I don't need to because I've got loads of stored energy from all the crap I've been consuming. So I'm just going to do a fastest workout off of the high off the caffeine. Uh, caffeine? Caffeine? What the hell? Making up my own words now. Um, but yeah, high, uh, a lot of caffeine. So I feel, I feel good. I feel ready to just get moving. I'm going to feel sluggish, but it's okay. I'm going to do 10 minutes on the bike, then about 6 rounds, 3 minutes boxing, and that's it. Maybe a couple of push-ups just for the pump, and that's about it really. Uh, that'll burn a bit of cows. I've got my whoop strap on, which will show me that. Well, you can't see it there, but I've got my whoop strap on. Bloody hell, man. Got my whoop. Do you know what? You get the picture. All right. Got my whoop strap on, ready to tell me how many calories I'm going to be burning. And then, yeah, then I'll just have to eat at what's called a deficit, which is less you're eating less than you burn throughout the day. So then I'll be able to burn more calories than I've actually consumed, and uh, then I can lose some fat over the next couple of days. Not too much, but I'll probably lose more water than anything. Onto the workout we go. Nice one. So, here I am, on the bike, getting it done. Uh, can't really go too crazy, because obviously the knee, got my surgery on Thursday, so just nice, chilled out chilled out on the bike pushing a little bit here and there as much as I can I just want to burn cows mate I just want to burn cows this is the view loving it let's get it oh yeah yes 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 as you can see 10 minutes done and he's still going <laughs> Yeah, so 10 minutes done. Uh, I'll do a bit of shadow boxing and then straight into the boxing workout. Let's get it. Woo, sweaty, sweaty guy. Glazing, great workout, freaking great workout. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie, but a little bit sluggish. But once I got the move, the body flowing, the body moving, I felt so much better. And honestly, I feel like you just have to just do something every day. Like before, I used to love, I used to love doing bro workouts, fucking getting big and lifting. But now, ever since my sport is obviously my number one thing, I just want to do everything that is gonna go more towards my sport and less towards just bodybuilding so and obviously like my knee is a little bit a little bit fucked you could say so obviously had to keep it you know not too crazy today but 230 came in here about 140 ish so good workout um so yeah i did two rounds of shadow box and three uh five rounds on the back three minutes so good that's my calories burnt for today probably burnt about five 500 cows, maybe six, something like that. That means I can eat, I can eat well, eat about 2,500 cows. And I haven't eaten anything today, so I can't wait to eat, to be honest with you. Who's that dude? Who's that fella? <laughs> but um, yeah, no, great. Felt so good to move around. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna show you what I'm getting up to food-wise. Good stuff, good stuff. Back in the room. So, as you can see, I have burnt 
I don't know if you could see that. If you can forget, yep, 663 calories within that session. So that is an awesome, awesome amount of calorie burn. Oh yeah, that means I can go naughty. Probably not very naughty, but yeah, I can, uh, I can definitely um, eat quite all right today. Because I worked out pretty hard, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, just thought I'd also show you um, my supplementation. Luckily, the UFC provides you with amazing stuff. So I've got a probiotic just for stomach lining and stuff like that and help you di to digest stuff. Uh, this is very good. Um, this is top grade quality as well by Fawn. Again, no plugs actually. Well, it, I guess, again, I guess it is a plug. But anyway, so yeah, the good stuff. Fish oils, energy, recovery, um, and uh, repair and stuff like that. So this is also very good stuff, fish oils, or any fish oils will do, but these are good obviously. And then just a basic multivit. I think everyone should incorporate having a multivit in their life. So obviously I'll be having these with my meal, um, which I'm gonna be making in a second, but I'll show you, do you know what? I'll just show you, I'll just show you. How about that, how about that, sick. Right, so in the midst of injury, <laughs> um, treats and goodies are put on board for you by your wonderful friends and family. Shout out to Katie Hunter, thank you so much. I mean, she's an awesome woman, awesome interviewer, works for um, MMA UK, um, has been a really close support and friend of mine, and I've got to say thank you so much because this looks absolutely amazing. Oh my Lord, I mean, oh my Lord. I mean, oh my lord, oh, Lola's cupcakes, oh, but they're like brownies, oh my gosh, I mean, just, <laughs> I mean, listen, when you've got a uh, surgery coming up soon, um, and uh, you've got brownies sitting in front of you, and you've just trained today, although I'm looking out for my health and wealth, and wanting to look like in shape and on point, there's brownies sitting there that need to be devoured, what to do? What to do? I've got to eat them today. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pick this back up tomorrow. So uh, I think the first part of this video is a bit of a fail, to be honest. But tomorrow I will show you a full day of eating that's actually legitimate. <laughs> All right, nice one. I'm a shit lad. I'm a shit guy. Mm. What am I doing to myself? I'm gonna have to seriously, seriously punish myself after this. I don't know. I might hang myself from the ceiling and pour tea tree oil in my eyes. No, I'm not gonna do anything like that. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy today because these are brownies that were just made specially for me. Tomorrow we're back on it. And I'll let you know what an actual good day of dieting looks like. <coughs> Sorry guys. Sorry guys. <coughs> Brad is trying to kill me. <coughs> but in a good way. <laughs> Don't worry. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Hello everyone. As you can see, a little bit messy. A little bit messy. Oh, we're going to have to clean it up. Did not really expect that. Did not expect that at all. Don't worry, we'll, 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 we'll get it fixed. But anyways, as you can see, freshly shaven. Um, no, I've, I've got to get rid of that, that's horrible. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Properly. There you go, much better, as you can see. It was freaking horrible um, in the previous clip. So oh, obviously I had to eradicate it because I want people to think I'm actually an all right looking lad, do you know what I mean? Otherwise I'd just be catfish, well, I kind of already am catfishing people because I probably, anyways, whatever, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. I think it's because there's a lot of nerves going on because obviously, actually I'm not really that nervous, I just, you know, I get nervous when I talk in front of a camera sometimes. <laughs> clearly, clearly not. Um, 
I'm just saying it to seem, you know, to have a bit of an empathetic uh, connection with you lot. But, so I'm getting my operation tomorrow. As you can see, I tanked hard, hard on the diet the other day. Tried to do a nice motivation. I started off real good. Oh, I can't wait. I'm working out. I'm doing great. Yeah, and then brownies coming through the door and then freaking all hell breaks loose. So, <laughs> But I mean, look, I'm human, that stuff happens. I just finished the fight. I was thinking to get back on it and then brownies are sitting there. You know what I mean? You know, one of your friends hooks you up. It's like, it had to be done. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't stick to the diet anymore. Um, but anyways, so physique wise, it's not all that great. I mean, it's probably not any worse than what you saw it on that last clip, even though, you know, obviously I've been smashing down a lot of pick and mix and crap for the last couple of days. So literally the last couple of days has just been a continuation of horrendous behavior. But I have been training. Um, so yeah, yesterday I ordered a load of takeaways and, and, and stuff, like an idiot, of course. But still, face not looking too bad. So <laughs> Clearly I've moved on from the days where I was a chubby kid coming back from America. Um, so yeah, that's all good. So yeah, my operation is tomorrow um, and I'm feeling good. I'll take you through obviously the whole journey, but um, you know, today I've been on point with the diet, today I trained, so you know, at least for one day I can lose some, if not, if any, fat till tomorrow. So I can impress all the surgeons with how in shape I am, which is clearly a massive goal of mine. Don't know why, but just for my own self preservation, right? So I can keep, you know, doing topless pics on Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling very excited. I know I won't be able to sleep tonight because I just can't wait to get it all sorted. Getting the nose somewhat sorted, not all the way sorted, but like as in it might move it a little bit and then obviously clear the airways because it's a bit harder for me to breathe. And obviously the main thing is my knee. So I've got the best surgeons in the UK, um, UFC, absolutely amazing, helping me out and sorting me out of everything. So yeah, this is the journey of uh, of the operation really. So yeah, um, nothing more to report. I'm drinking coffee at a horrendous hour, so I'm living life on the edge. I think it's about five o'clock right now, six o'clock. Um, no, nah, it's about five o'clock, why am I lying? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill, watch some vids, perhaps tidy my room, otherwise I'm just an insignificant being who doesn't like cleaning his room. So obviously I need to do that. But yeah, take you through the journey, peeps. Thank you, thank you. That facial is looking way more naughty. Yes, yes.